from old time woodsman Flydo. Uh, one of the most popular questions that we have on our website is how do you keep gnats from flying around my face? So today I thought we would discuss why that happens and how to prevent it. First of all, when you breathe, you breathe out carbon dioxide. That's the one thing that attracts all biting insects. Uh, and I was thinking about how to best uh, illustrate what I'm talking about. And I thought back, back in the 50s when I was a small boy in uh, the town of Bar Harbor where I was born and grew up, um, we had a little neighborhood down on School Street and it was kind of a mixture between uh, us locals and what we used to call lovingly as the summer people. <laughs> now, one of the summer people uh, that used to come every year, she had a cottage down there and she wanted all of us kids to call her Aunt Millie. And Aunt Millie's claim to fame was she baked the most delicious, big, fat, chocolate donuts with sugar coating on them. And whenever she started baking those donuts, the smell would come out into the neighborhood and all of our, us kids would run to Aunt Millie's just as fast as our little legs could carry us. And of course, baking donuts is a somewhat of a slow, laborious process. You have to roll out the dough, you have to cut it, you put it in the oil and the frying pan, you can only do two or three donuts at once, you flip them over, then you put them on a uh, cookie sheet and let them, let them cool, and then you flip them around in the sugar on a, on a plate, and then you put them on the platter. Well, of course, with a dozen kids in your kitchen, all waiting to be the first one to get a donut, she used to say, you're just like a bunch of gnats. Would you get out from underfoot or I'm not gonna give you any donuts? Well, of course, we backed off, but then everyone jostled wanting to be the first in line. So we all got a, our, our donuts and she used to do that, oh, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, but one day uh, I had a summer cold and uh, back in that time when you had a cold, your mother used to take Vicks Vapor Rub, which is kind of a eucalyptus gel and put it on your upper lip so that every time you breathe in, you would uh, breathe in that eucalyptus smell. So this particular day when I had this junk on my upper lip, Aunt Millie decided she was gonna bake donuts. Of course, I couldn't smell the donuts and I didn't realize that she was uh, baking donuts until one of my friends, Gordon, came walking by the porch with his handful of uh, Aunt Millie's big chocolate donuts. Of course, I was distraught. I ran over to Aunt Millie's because by the time I got there, the platter had been picked clean. So the point is, is that when you've got gnats flying around your head, they are attracted to your carbon dioxide flume. But when you take old time woodsman, and you spray it on your cap, or you put a drop of it on your, your bill of your cap, that actually interferes with uh, a gnat's ability to detect carbon dioxide. So the moral of the story is, is that if the gnats can't smell you, they can't find you. And if they can't find you, they can't bite you. So the next time you're confronted with gnats, just remember, Old Time Woodsman Fly Dope has been around for 130 years, still protecting outdoors people the way they did since 1882.